When a solid is heated, it expands. When it is cooled, it contracts. When liquid is heated, it expands. When cooled, it contracts. As can be seen in a mercury thermometer. Is there a way in which we can see what would happen to air when we heat it and then see what happens when we cool it? Let us take a look. For this, we need spirit lamp, cold water, test tube with rubber cork, straw and colored water. First, we will trap a drop of colored water in a straw. Insert the straw through a rubber cork, like this. Now put the cork in the test tube and make sure no air escapes. Now heat the tube and observe the colored drop. The drop rises. Cool the tube in the beaker filled with cold water and observe the drop. The drop comes down. You will see that the drop of water moves up when the tube is heated and it comes down when it is cooled. The water drop rises because air inside the tube expands on heating. The expanded air pushes the colored water drop in the tube upwards. When the air cools down, it contracts and the drop comes back to its initial position. So we just saw that air expands on heating and contracts on cooling, just like other materials. Now expansion of air on heating causes its density to lower. On the other hand, contraction of air on cooling causes its density to increase. This change in density of air on heating or cooling is the principle behind the hot air balloon. With increased flame, the balloon starts slowly going up and with decreased flame, it starts slowly descending to the ground. 